a high intensity power pilates session using a yoga block we're also going to be using hand weights but those are optional so high intensity power pilates is um, our pilates principles layered on top of lunges squats and planks so that we get that intensity section we usually teach these classes in 45 minutes or above. This is going to be a shorter session, just with uh, two squat sequences, two lunge sequences, and four plank sequences with our warm up and our abdominals on the end. So, hopefully, um, you'll enjoy it. The yoga block primarily is going to give us a little bit of imbalance, it's going to force us to uh, change our weight slightly in certain movements. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to leave our yoga block at the front of our mats to start off with and we're going to come to the back of our mats, separating our feet hip distance apart, pushing our knuckles down, lifting our chest and squeezing our shoulder blades together. So already we're starting with those Pilates principles. We're going to make sure we've got a sense of opposition through our body, crown of the head up to the ceiling whilst the heels push down to the floor. That Opposition is coming out from the center. So from your tummy button upwards, we're lifting and we've got that sense of pressing down with our knuckles as well as our heels. We're going to take a moment to inhale and widen our ribs. Exhale, closing the ribs. So whilst there'll be some movement of the shoulders, we're going to do our best to keep that to a minimum and really focus on the lungs. Exhaling now. One more for me, just breathing. Another of our Pilates principles, exhaling. We're going to add some arm movements. So we inhale and lift our arms up, squeezing our abdominals. Exhale, reach the arms forward and down. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms forward and down. Two more. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, bringing them forward and down. Last time, inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, bring it forward and down. This time we're going to add a roll over. Inhale, lift the arms up. Nod that head. Scoop your ribs in, up and over, so your abdominals are working to stretch out your spine. We're going to hover our hands just off the ground again, so those abdominals stay switched on. We breathe in. Exhale, let it all go. So those abdominals are now relaxed. Shake your head, nod your head, and then push the feet into the ground to roll our way up again. We're gonna repeat that a little bit faster. Arms come up, one. Exhale, over, hold. Roll up, three. And four, two more, arms up. Exhale, scoop it over, roll up and up again arms up and over nice rolling up this time please stay down arms up exhale hold so we place our weights either side of our mats place our hands flat and lengthen the backs of our legs we're going to walk out one two three probably bringing our hands either side of the block we placed at the top of our mat before we push our hands into the ground we push our spine between our shoulder blades we lift our hips high press those heels down walk it back one two three leaving the weights we're going to roll our way back up again and repeat that arms up one over it two hands flat three legs lengthen four walk forward reaching out to the top of the mat to hold and hold Hips come high, heels down, walk back. One, two, three, soft knees roll up. We go again. Arms up, one, over it, two. Hands flat, three, legs lengthen, four, walk forward. One, two, three, and hold. I want you to step your right leg forward. Now from here, you're gonna drop your left knee down. You're gonna grab your block, place your left hand on it, and bring that block lengthways so it's mirroring your mat you're going to reach your right arm up to the sky you're going to reach your hand and your elbow down to the ground or as close as you can get arm up and elbow inside of ankle arm comes up 
Elbow inside of ankle, last time, arm up. Elbow inside, place your hands down. Place that left knee off the floor now. Step back to your downward dog and hold. We're going to do the same on the left side. Step that left leg forward. Drop the knee down. Slide the block over so it's mirroring your foot. Place your right hand on it so you can keep that nice length. Left hand comes up. Left elbow inside. Arm up. Inside. Two more. Arm up. Inside, hopefully you feel the inner thighs and hip flexors warming up here. Good, bring your hands down to the ground, tuck that back toe, lift the heel, step back to your high plank, high hips, press your heels down here, breathing in. Exhale, walk the hands back, one, two, three, soft knees, grabbing the weights, rolling our way up. Inhale, our arms high, Exhale, hopefully we're feeling a little bit warmer. Now, well done everyone. Okay, we're gonna to come to the top of our mats. I'm gonna switch around so I can face you to begin with. I'm gonna be mirroring you now, guys. So I'm gonna put the block on the right side. So it's gonna come underneath our right foot. We stand up. Okay, we're gonna go into a squat. We step the left leg out, bringing our arms forward. We're gonna do three pulses here. Squatting one, two, three, we stand up onto our block and give ourselves a little side kick without leaning over. Let's go faster. One, two, three, press and lift. Oh, one, that's the BT of the block. Three, press and lift. Coming one, and two, and three, push into that supporting foot as well as the outer thigh, two, and three, so our hips are level, even though one foot is higher. Two, and three, and lift, two more. One, and two, and three, press and lift. And one, and two, and three, last time now. And one, and two, and three, press and lift. Now we're gonna switch it, three pulses at the side. One, two, three, sit and squat. One, two, three. So a bit more time in the balance position. One, two, oh, three, or not as the case may be. And one, two, three, four more sets. Come one, two, three, and seated. One, two, three, and down. Good, one, two, three, and lovely last time. Finishing off this side with eight singles, carving eight. And good, so really try not to lean. You're going up tall, six. Crown of the head pops to the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Four more, good. Three more, Whew. two, that's it. And last one, well done. We slide that block over and hopefully feeling one glute has worked a little harder than the other. So, standing back on, we're gonna to go to those three pulses with our feet into our squat position and a single leg lift. So, making sure our hips are level. Let's go. One, two, three, really press the arms back now. One, two, three, but not those ribs coming forwards in response. Two, three, Press lift, and one, two, three. We've got four more sets. All the same squat principles at play here. Good, and up, and one, and two, and three, and up, two more, and two. Really reach those arms forward. Imagine there's a belly bar to hold onto. Yes, good, let's switch it over. It's three, two, one. Sit down, three, two, one. Sit down, and three, and two, oh, one. Always on the third one, Joe. And up, two, three, four more, guys. One, two, three. Sit hips back, one, two, three, and good. Last two, two, three. 
And back, last one. One, whoop, two, three singles to finish it off. Eight, to the ceiling. Seven, down, six, and down, and five. Keep it up. It's four, and down, and three, and down, and two. Last one, and lovely stuff, guys. Well done. You're gonna pop your block back at the top of your mats for me. Come and stand at the back of your mats. Feet hip distance apart. Squeeze the shoulders together, press the knuckles down. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, over we go. Pop the weights either side. Place the hands flat, lengthen the backs of the legs. Walking it forward. One, two, three. Now we want to make sure that we have our block, let's call it um, horizontal, that's it, or landscape. So we've got the longest side mirroring that shortest side of your mat. You're gonna drop your right elbow down onto your block, left elbow joins it, right hand back, left hand back. Left elbow down, right and up. Keep going, I'll come to the front to show you. And down and up and up. So you're coming down and down and up and up. Keep going, down and down and up. So you can put your knees down if you need to. And down and up. Two more times. If you're doing that, try and stay in an assisted plank. One more. Down, down, up. You're going to go down and hold your plank. Elbows on your block. Lifting those knees if you haven't already. Tap the knees to the floor and press. Tap to and press. So the hips and shoulders don't move. And in, and up, four more, four, and three, last two, last one, well done, pop up, oh, one hand either side, lift your hips high, take your active rest position, your downward dog, if you need to stay in your child's pose, that's fine, well done, good, you're just going to lean into one side, turn your block the other way now, so it's Portrait, let's say. Okay, we're going to walk our hands back. One, two, three. Find those weights. Roll your way up. Inhale your arms high. Exhale, bring those arms down. Well done, you guys. I've got a sweat on already. We've only done one sequence. So let's take our foot onto our block now. I'm going to stay facing the side so you can get the best view. I'm going to pop my left foot onto the block and I'm going to stand on it, bringing my right foot alongside just on the ball of that foot. We're going to take it nice and easy. We're going to step back, swing our arms forward. We come into a lunge position, then tap it in. Seven and tap. Keep going. Six, just going to move back a fraction and five and tap. We go four and tap, and three, and tap, four, two, good, and one. Now hold it in that tap position. Draw your knee up to a single knee fold, and we're gonna come here instead of the foot on the floor. If that's too much, keep the foot on the floor. Here we go. Coming back, and up, and back, and up, and back, and up, and back four more times. Come four and lift and three and lift for two and lift. Last bit three pulses at the back. One, two, three and lift. One, two, three and lift. Keep going. One, two, three. Last time. One, two, three three, and hold that balance, four, three, two, and one, step off once again, feeling that unilateral work, one leg at a time, don't you worry about moving, I'm just going to come here so you can see my working leg, the one that's moving, <laughs> the one that's staying still, let's go to the other side then guys, you can hear the high intensity in my voice, <laughs> 
So we've got the feet in this line with one another. So one obviously is higher. We're going to be stepping our left leg back now. Starting with singles and a tap of the foot to the floor. Let's go. Coming eight and tap. Seven and tap. And six. Good. Five. That front knee. Trying to stay over the ankle rather than moving forward. Two more. And one. Hold here. Draw your knee up. Let's change it to that knee forward. Come eight. Up. Seven. Up. Six. And up. And five. Keep it going. Four. Drive it up. Three. Whew. Two. Let's change it. Three pulses. Come one. Two. Three. And up. One. Two. Three. Two more times. One, two, three, and up. Last set. Two, three, and hold it. Four, four, three, two, and one. Lovely stuff, guys. I'm just going to put my block back to where yours were. That's it. And we come and stand at the back of our mat. Feet hip distance apart. Press those knuckles down, lift the chest. Inhale, our arms high. Exhale, over. Lovely, pop the weights down. Place our hands flat, lengthen the backs of the legs. Walking it forward, one, two, three. Okay, we're gonna put our left hand into onto the block and we're gonna step our right hand onto the block as well. So we've got both hands on where we had both elbows on. Before, we're gonna separate our feet even more. We're gonna step our right hand to the side and middle, left side and middle, right side and middle, left side, four more. Again, knees can come down, lifting those toes, three, but try not to get all into your shoulders if those knees are down. Last one, and hold, put your hands either side, lift those hips high, press your heels down, look back to your feet, take a breath in, exhale, all right, bring both hands back on top of your block, bring those hips down, we're going to add a push up, take the right hand to the side, bend the elbows, straighten and back, left side, bend, up, and back again, knees can come down, lifting those feet off to make sure your weight is forward. We're halfway, four more now. One, bend, stretch, center. One, bend, stretch, last two. One, bend, stretch, last one. One, bend, stretch, and center. Put those hands either side of your mat. Bring your heels down. Take a moment in your active rest position. Breathing in. Exhale, walk your hands back to your feet. One, two, three. Find weights. Soften through those knees, rolling your way up. Inhale those arms high. And bring it down. Well done. You're going to come to the front of your mat. Pick up your block. You're going to pop it in between your knees up to the thigh position rather than down to the calves. We're coming up to the thighs. So my block and leggings are hopefully distinguishable from one another. So we've got a narrow leg squat happening now. We're going to reach our arms by our ears as we sit down to our squat. Let me show you from the side again. Sitting into it, okay? So nice and simple, eight of those from now. Coming eight and up and seven. So we're squeezing the block and six and up and five and up. Working different parts of our glute. It's a huge muscle. Good, four, two, well done. Last one. Now we're gonna add a heel lift. Squat, lift the heels, lower the heels, stand tall. 
we squat. Lift heels, lower heels, stand tall, keep going. Squat, lift heels, lower heels, that's it again. Squat, lift heels, lower heels. We change it once more. We squat, lift the heels, rise up on the toes and lower. We squat, lift heels, rise up on the toes and lower. Two more, squat, heels, up, and last time, Squat, heels up and lower. Lovely stuff, guys. Taking that block out, popping it at the front of your mat. Again, in that landscape format. Coming to the back of your mats for me. That's not true. <laughs> Stay at the front of your mats where your uh, block is. You're going to turn so it's behind you. You're going to lift your arms high on your inhale. Exhale over the top. Now pop the weights down. Place your hands flat. Walk your hands forward. You're going to step one foot on, the other foot on. Now you're going to take your elbow down to the ground and turn your body so that you're stacking your feet on your block. You're then going to lift your arm up and if you wanted to, you could grab your weights here as well. We're going to drop down and up. And down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Four more times, that's all. Four, and up, and three, and up, four, two, and last one. Well done. Soften those knees, bring your hips down. Bring either your block round or turn your body round. It doesn't matter which, so you can switch your block or you can just turn and face away from your cameras. Stack those feet once again, keeping the elbow underneath the shoulder, we lift up, we reach our arm high, we dip down and up and down and up and down and up and down. Four more times, so we've raised up our feet, the dip is lower, three more, the obliques work harder, two, and last one, well done, drop the hips down. Now our last movement before we go into abdominals, we're gonna turn and tuck our toes underneath on that block. We push into those toes, spring forward, we're in our high plank position, toes are elevated. Right knee comes in, step back, left knee comes in, and back, right knee comes in, and back, left knee comes in, and back, four more, four, and back, three, and back, last two, last one. Well done, guys. Bring your knees down. Sit back to a child's pose. Hold it here for me. Or if, like me, you're very sweaty, you might need to just give yourself a little towel down. Well done, guys. Good. Staying in that child's pose. Lovely. Okay, we're going to turn it around. And we're going to bring our yoga block onto our shins for just two abdominal exercises. So the yoga block comes onto the shins, hands come by our sides, we open our shoulders, we let those hips be nice and heavy. We're gonna shoot the legs out and try and keep the yoga block balanced. Reach it out for two and in. You'll see my legs don't fully extend because then I think I'll lose the block. <laughs> I'm sure I will. We're gonna keep the lower abdominals, Connected to the mat, out for two and in four more times. Exhale, open the shoulders so the arms can be used as breaks, but try not to round the shoulders in as it gets more tense in the abdominals. Two more and in. Last one and in. Really good, guys. Take that block off, bring your feet to the floor. Have a little swing side to side of the feet and knees. Okay, we're gonna place our block underneath our left foot. We're gonna make sure our heels, and obviously that block, are about our foot size away from our bottoms. No closer, no further away, about. Okay, if we're too close in, 
We will feel constricted if we're too far away. We'll feel our hips sagging. We won't be able to maintain a diagonal line. So what we're going to do is lift our hips up. Find our spine curl position with those hips raised. You're then going to keep your right hand on the floor. Take your left hand behind your head. You're going to curl that left elbow over to the right knee in a knee fold, keeping the hips high. Then you lower that head back down, shoot the leg away, but keep the hips up. Okay, let's do it. Four, eight, and at seven, and at. So that supporting arm is really important. Try not to let the hips tilt. For four more, you're twisting from the ribs. Last two, so it's glutes and obliques. Last one, well done, lower down. Bend the knee, pop it down to the floor, bring your hands down. Slide that block across. Bring your right foot on now. So I think it's slid away a little bit from me. Left hand stays on the ground. Right hand comes behind the head. We roll up to our spine curl position. Let's peel off that left knee. Curl up to it now. Four, eight. Lower and shoot. Seven. Shoot lower. Six. And out. And five. And out, we go for four, and reach, and three, and reach, four, two, well done. And last one, really nice guys, hugging those knees into your chests, just letting the heart rate come down, breathing in, exhaling, nod your head, rock yourself up to seated, Let's slide our legs away, just resting our feet on top of our blocks now, letting the blocks be our friend <laughs> instead of making our lives harder. So we could reach around the block, let's say, or we can still just reach to our ankles, nodding our heads, shoulders relaxing down, just letting that circulation come back to normal. I'm not gonna do a long stretch now. I've got plenty of stretch um, sequences, 10, 15, 30 minute sequences on the YouTube channel, which I really recommend you go and check out. And I'm probably going to film a whole stretch just with the yoga block because it can really, really help our stretching as well as our strengthening exercises. So when you're ready, hop over and do one of those stretch classes. Or if you're done for the day, no worries at all. I hope you enjoyed that. As I said at the beginning, normally our hip pilates classes are 45 minutes. So if you wanted to join in a longer length one, check out our live timetable, our online timetable, our on-demand timetable, you might be able to find one there. And if you've never taken a class with us before, it's five pounds for a five day trial and you get unlimited classes for those five days. So you can really give lots of our sessions a go. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.